So one thing that I've been wanting to do for a really long time now on this channel is to make a video where I highlight all of the possible independent bookstores and libraries and bookish initiatives that I could find locally here in Trinidad and Tobago. And I realized that there's too much for one video. So this is going to be the first part in a series of ongoing videos on this channel where I try my best to highlight local independent bookstores, libraries and other things that have to do with books here in Trinidad and Tobago. So this will be the introduction to that series and today we will be highlighting three of the most awesome and coolest independent bookstores right here in Trinidad. So I'll be taking you to each of these bookstores and I'll be interviewing the owners or the employees just so you could get a sense of what it is they do and what it is they offer. The first bookstore I'll be taking you to is Scribbles and Quills which is located in Chaguanas. We opened Scribbles and Quills in 2014 as an online bookstore. Um, it was online for about four years until 2018 when we opened a small location at Inez Montessori and Prep. After that, in 2019, we opened another location in Felicity and then we moved to this location in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a range of books available in store. We have books for age zero to 100. So we have, we cater for babies, for children, young adults, for adults and for elders as well. We love to support local. So we have a lot of the local authors. So this, uh, this entire shelf here is all local authors that we have for adults. And then the shelf on this side is for children. So this is our children's local um, authors. We also like to support our local entrepreneurs. So we have a lot of different products that are made locally in Trinidad and Tobago. So we have candles, we have journals, we have, you name it, you can find it here once it's made locally. And we always accept um, entrepreneurs to apply to have the items with us as well. So in terms of local books, our top seller has always been The Yard by Aliyah Inaya. That is this book right here. So a lot of customers love this book and we have a lot of people coming in to request this. Um, another book that has recently gained a lot of popularity was Pleasant View by Celeste Mohammed. Um, we restocked this a lot of times already as well. So this shelf is our free shelf. This is part of the Ikra project. Ikra means read in Arabic. And we accept donations of used books and we allow anybody to come in and take any amount of books they want and you could also donate as well. A lot of people, what they like to do is read the books, take the books, read the books and then bring them back. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Do you want to explain a little bit more about the ICRA project and what it is? Sure. So the ICRA project was started as a way for us to give back to society. We believe in literacy, that's how come we even started a bookstore in the first place and with the ICRA project what we intend to do is go to different children's homes, to different organizations who are involved in supporting children's literacy. We donate books, we donate snacks and all these things for the children to help them to help the children further. So any donations you make to our free shelf, it would be put on this shelf for persons to come in to collect as well as contributed to our ICRA projects and any homes or organizations that we donate to. So Scribbles and Quilts is located at 6 Gaston Street in Lanchback, Chaguanas. We also operate online. We have a website where you can order for delivery, nationwide delivery, and um, yeah. The second bookstore that I'll be highlighting is Paperbase and they are located at the Hotel Normandy in St. Anne's. So Paper Base Bookshop is one of the oldest specialty bookselling shops in Trinidad, if not the Caribbean. It started in 1987 by Joan Dale. It was initially intended to be a shop that would serve the needs of the hotel because it's established at the Hotel Normandy. But soon uh, Ms. Dale realized that people in Trinidad had a real appetite and love for reading. And what started off as a general store swiftly became a bookshop and we specialize in Caribbean literature. So as the only bookshop in Trinidad specializing in Caribbean literature, we're very passionate about making sure our local and regional authors are represented in every genre, as well as our Caribbean authors living in the diaspora. And this means that you'll find classics from the history of Trinidad publishing, 
to publishing across the Americas, uh, UK and Europe. Once it has a Caribbean focus or a lens or a theme, we are going to try to get it. Some titles continue to sell as the years go by. I can think of a few that people will always ask for, like Barbara Jenkins' Sick Transit Wagon, a collection of short stories, The Real House and Other Stories by Sharon Miller, any book by Marlon James, and books by V.S. Naipaul, Sam Selvon, George Lamming continue to sell with great speed. There's also a great love for poetry, Caribbean poetry, Derek Walcott, as well as some newer poets, some prize winning and some not. Um, many self-published authors who may or may not be interested in the limelight also bring their books here and we happily stock them. And as the, the world's attention grows more and more in Caribbean literature, what we've found is that there are so many more books that come out each year and we're just excited by the profusion of books we have now in the islands. Pre-pandemic, we're very proud of our in-person reading series called An Evening of Tea and Readings, which was established pretty early on in the history of the shop by, by Joe and Dale. The idea of that series was to give local authors especially, so Trinidadian and Tobagoian authors, a platform to read from and share their books because Often when a book is published locally, sometimes self-published, there's not much room for that author to be celebrated, to do a public reading, to do a book signing, to really let the country know that their book is out. So Joan realized this was a gap that was that needed filling in our society. And so she tries her best to feature writers who may or may not be published with a huge publisher. That's usually not, not at all a consideration once they have a story to tell. We want to give them a platform to tell it on. We tend to do six of those a year and they're called an evening of tea and readings. We are hoping very much that in a post-pandemic world, fingers crossed, we can return to that. I'm in the car. I just got back from Paper Vase. I'm serving up Scooby-Doo chic today. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Shivani Ramlochan who I just interviewed uh, for Paper Vase. She is the author of Everyone Knows I Am A Haunting, which is a poetry collection that I'm very excited to get into. So I bought this from Paper Base. It's available at Paper Base if you want a puppy. She also signed it, which was really sweet of her. So just wanted to give Shivani a shout out. And the final bookstore that I'll be taking everybody to is probably one of the coolest and most interesting bookstores that I have been to in my entire life. It is called The Book Junkie and it is in Manzanilla. I opened it in 2019, two years ago, in June of 2019. So it's over two years now I'm here, uh, two years. And um, well, I, what brought me here is I, I, I do birding tours into the Nariva Swamp. And in 2018, I came down here and you know, took a birding tour of the Nariva Swamp and I saw this little cottage here, this little cabin. I made inquiries, it belongs to the estate. And I, you know, books have been part of my life, you know, a books and bookshops selling encyclopedias. And I do this game, bookshop. So, that's how it came about. It kind of, kind of a way you can say I'm, I'm trying to establish a tradition, you know. Mm -hmm. A little bookshop down in the wilderness here. People come and you all want to read, you know, Samuel Sullivan, Vidya Naipaul. So, uh, there's a great interest in local authors. You will love this, right? Mm -hmm. And the author we just mentioned, Green Days by the River, mm -hmm. Michael Anthony, right? Yeah. So I do carry a, a, a local section. All the, the books don't remain on the shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's. Um, that, that's very much in demand. Local authors. Mm -hmm. Other than that, the bookshop, you know, it's a general bookshop. Uh, there are lots of books of ladies, uh, you know, romance, mystery, crime, what have you. And I have a large non fiction section, mm -hmm. right? right science, philosophy, education, what have you. Also, yeah. current, even current, current affairs. Mm -hmm. And people have been very generous. A lot of them have donated books to the shop. Yeah. Um, a lot of school books, but I don't sell the school books. I give them away to all the children who come. All the school okay. kids. I give away all the encyclopedias to the children in Kernahan. Um, I'm in the process of forming a library in Kernahan. Okay. Right? 
I, I live in Maravalik. I'm going here on the weekend. Right. They open the shop Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I have a little cottage which I bought in Kernahan. I renovated it. I'm in the process of establishing a library. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Right. It's, it's my personal collection. And um, all the good books, you know, if I get valuable books, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in the library. Mm -hmm. So I'm working, that's a project that's on the way. So you have the bookshop here by the seaside. You have the the book, you have the library at the edge of the forest, and it's a very. Um, I, I'm I'm on an elevation, and you have a magnificent view of the river. Wow! So I open Saturdays, sometimes on a Friday, but definitely Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays. Like Tuesday is Independence Day, and definitely be open, right? Okay. Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays. I'm I'm on the Manzalina Mayao Road at the junction of Kernaham Village. Mm -hmm. Kernaham is a little community here. So I'm on the Mansell and Maya Road, not far from Ottawa. You can't miss it. Mm -hmm. You can't miss the book junkie. And there you have it, those are the three bookstores that I have highlighted in this first installment of what I hope to be an ongoing series on this channel. I do have some more independent bookstores in mind that I would like to highlight for future videos, but if you know of any that you'd like to suggest, if you yourself are the owner of a bookstore or an independent library or something like that, let me know in the comments down below, DM me. Also, I will be linking all of the bookstores that I mentioned in this video in the description down below, so if you want to go check out their social media, DM them, ask them about books that they are selling or other products and items that they're selling, definitely go check them out and support these awesome, amazing bookstores. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and until next time, inshallah, keep reading.